co-main event, Chris Gravel for event. six. Here we go. Paolo Miao. This is Camille Wilt. Paolo takes the uh, seat of guard. Really, really can't remember anyone passing that guard for a long, long time. Camille, real footlock specialist. But the Miao's known for not tapping to footlocks. And uh, I'm doing a couple of rounds and these guys are uh, been working hard with I think Eddie Cummins people in Unity and they've got a good footlock game themselves now. So it's going to be interesting to see how this one plays out. Yeah, some of the top guys who transition have tried to take you know their gear game into the no gear game and just negate footlocks, but Meows have really embraced it, especially yeah. Drow recently had some good uh, leg lock victories. It's, um, it's good to see him diversify. And as you say, some of the heel looks and stuff they've been in against top level opposition and just stone faced. <laughs> I mean, some unbelievable obscene, ones. Really. I remember a jar with Gary Tone a few years ago. Uh, some of the, you know, the, there was an inside and an outside heel up. It was just, it was just stone faced right through it. Um, but what was really impressive from just doing a couple of rounds with, with uh, Paolo was his pressure for a, you know for the guy his size, 67 sort of kilos. It was unbelievable. Camille knows this is the biggest match of his career. A win and put him on the world stage, you know, on the on the map on the world stage. Um, sort of a heavy underdog, but he, he took the he took the fight straight away. He's one of Europe's best. Yeah, he's been consistently going against the best guys in Europe for yeah. a good while now. Seen him against Ross Nichols recently. Yeah, he's fought Ross. Jer he's fought Jeremy Skinner. You know, he, he's fought Ash Williams. He's fought some uh, he's fought some top guys around the scene. But this is by far and away his biggest match. Couple of minutes down. Yeah, the kind of opportunities that uh, the guy like Camille jumps at because he knows whatever happens, you know, getting this kind of mat timing with the guy at the Meows level is it's only going to benefit him in the long run. Yeah, of course, you know, if, you, if you're not taking the opportunity to fight these guys like this, you know, I mean, there's, there's no point sort of being in the sport, is there? He absolutely jumped at the chance. Um, dying to test himself, been training like a maniac for it, he's told me. So he's, uh, he wants to put on a good show for the crowd. Big stream being broadcast all around the world on Flow Grappling. You know, where else you want to be seen? Yeah, and I mean, I was obviously a, a unit in now, which is becoming one of the next, well, is already one of the next big sort of super gyms of the, the guys that have gone, moved and uh, descended on the place. It's the level of uh, sparring partners and training partners and coaches that you've got day in, day out. Yeah. It's, it's something it's that, you know. Pot, isn't it? it's yeah. melting pot, isn't it? Yeah. melting pot of some of the talent they've got coming through, the younger guys, everything. You know, the Meows are now vets, aren't they? I remember them being the, the young guys coming through, but they're now, you know, complete veterans. Um, and some of the matches you see there, you know, from some of those things you see on social media and stuff, it just looks phenomenal yeah. there. And Santana coming, you know, uh, Manchikera, it's an unbelievable level. Something like, you know, in Europe at the moment, you're not going to find a map day in, day out where you, can, uh, where you can rival that, but things are definitely on the up, and... Uh, in the ADCCs, maybe some of the European guys will, will show that they're on that same level. We're hoping so. I think we've got a, you know some of our best guys out there. It'd be nice to see someone from the UK or Australia and someone them getting some medals as well instead of it all being sort of Brazil and America. We are playing a good, good patient game there. Yeah. Oh, he's, yeah, very patient guys, and he knows his 15-minute match. He knows he's got time. Got a gas tank forever. Camille's not engaging too much, sort of keeping himself, himself out. I think maybe trying to look for, yeah, look for a leg lock. I think, uh, yeah, Paolo's famed for that game. He can do it, Gian Nogi. Now he's coming up on top. I can't do one in either. Yeah, he, you know, he was famed for a certain game, but as you say, you keep seeing him evolving. Passing yeah, games, leg lock games, are, you know, they were obviously known as guard guys, but good body lock games since they started moving to Unity as well. Yeah. Uh, body lock passing and stuff. Yeah. So impressed with his, his, his pressure passing, um, rolling with him. So you're doing probably around 
Not for have 20 kilos on him. <laughs> he felt like the heavier one, trust me. Camille disengaging again. We've just done the first five minutes into the last 10 now. First third. First third, you're on the ball now. So yeah, when we first started Grapple Fest a couple of years ago, started broadcasting around sort of 18 months, whatever, and here we are now with the Meows in Liverpool. Great for UK grappling. Get these superstars over here. Yeah, it's explored. You look at the level of the guys that have been on the card in the first year to 18 months. It's literally the best grapplers in the world. The yeah, it's Craig phenomenal. Jones is the Dinis is. They have legendary names like Imanari's. Got the Meows on tonight. Just. Yeah, hopefully things are going to get bigger and better, continuing our new contract with Flo. So we'll be able to bring some more of these guys over to the UK. You see Paolo getting on the first bit of an entry there, maybe. Mills sitting down heavy, trying to, trying to disengage. Yeah, he's just inching his way in. So really good control grip. of the foot. Really doing everything to sort of pull out of there. Like he's felt him out for the first five, maybe, and it, now he's trying to uh, up the tempo. He's got a grip on that leg. Yep. Camille just managed to pull it out there. Yeah, managed to feed that out. Good defence, good work. He's a savvy guy, Camille. He said he's uh, he's an ADCC veteran from 2017. Didn't manage to qualify this time around, but he, you know he's, he's won a lot of uh, sort of national ADCC tournaments as well around Europe. I'd say he was probably a heavy underdog to a lot of people, but uh, you know this this guy's you know top of the tree. Well, when it comes to Paolo now, you're talking world class, elite level. Again, he's passing going now. Giao there in his corner, just sort of letting him get on with it. A few instructions coming out now. This is where I found he was really dangerous in the gym. This body lock. Half guard. Camille's got a good deep butterfly in though. See if Paolo can negate that. Some heavy pressure. Now he's trying to knee clock with that underhook. He's got the pass. Fantastic work. Fantastic work. Yeah, now so he's in his first real dominant position of the match. Let's see what Paolo can do. First time he's opted for the uh, top position. Hits his pass, seven minutes left, just past the halfway mark. Yeah, time for him Still to Still plenty of uh, time to work. I think these top guys sort of feel each other out a little bit, don't they? And uh, here we go now, he's in a good position now. Camille trying to keep his elbows and arms in nice and tight to his body. Yeah. The further out they get separated, the weaker they become. Pushed away, good guard well, attention. He's done well. Yeah, he's done well there. Got himself out of a bad spot. Well, that's a uh, point in favour of, uh, of Paolo there. First dominant position, yeah. first pass that we've had. Beautiful guard pass, wasn't it? Settled it. Got himself in north south. Now he's trying to get another entry going. Looks like he's definitely up the pace a little bit. Got him in his guard. Going high guard. Camille's tucking those elbows in. But this looks like it's getting locked up. Yeah, his arms are to the mat as well. Shana. So he's probably going to try and feed inside and start trying to attack in those arms. He's going in for that shoulder lock, is he? Get that foot in front of his face. This, yeah, this could there be. There he goes, pops it through. Switching his platter. Camille's done really well to get out of that. Excellent work. Just coming up to around five minutes. Yeah, Paolo back on top. Didn't take him too long to pass last time. No, not at all. Camille looking to under up the leg. See if there's an option there. 
potential leg entry. Going around trying to pass again. Referee Richard Thompson resets and with just over, just under, sorry, five minutes left. I will sort of get in the better positional wise, but let's see what this last five minutes brings. The yeah, problem being if uh, Camille tries to open up the taps and we go for broke against a guy as dangerous as this, then yeah, I obviously don't think, yeah. I don't think that's a great idea, but he's in, he's in this to try and win this match. This is submission grappling. Absolutely so. Why not, you know? Why not have a go, yeah. <laughs> Why not, you're in there. As I said, sometimes it can be really in your favour, being the underdog coming into a fight, can't it? He's put on a good show so far, though, really good show. Paolo trying to get that go in his leg. Trying to force that sweep. Back to guard. And a roll, Camille disengaging again. Four minutes left. In there for the sweep, is he going to get it? He's going for the leg. I think, the leg. I think he's going for the leg. Oh, the triangle from the back. Locking that triangle up. He's got it. He's got that it. That looks pretty tight. It looks very tight. This is going to be a tough spot for Camille to get out of. Oh, he's going to straight arm lock him at the same time. He's going for the two on one, isn't he? He's uh, trying to peel that off. He's got time as well. It's three and a half minutes left. He's locked a triangle up. That was such a slick entry to that oh, was beautiful. triangle from the back. We knew both thought it was a leg entry at first, didn't we? And then next thing he's uh, got the reverse triangle. Giles giving a few instructions on um, how he thinks he should help him finish this. Mills a strong, stocky guy at the weight. But you're talking about an elite level guy on your arm, locked in triangle. If he manages to get out of this with three minutes to go, He's done yeah, that grip's well. gonna yeah, go. There's, there's the armbar, there. and he gets it. Fantastic. 12 minutes work. Paolo gets a tap. Straight armbar in the triangle. Replay will pop up fantastic here. Fantastic match, fantastic. Love to see that entry again, but here's the finish. Yeah, here's the finish. Just worked on the grip, worked on the grip until Camille had, uh, you know, burned, burned his arms out, yeah, trying to hold on so tightly. Let him cook a little bit, didn't he? And started turning the angle, turning his hip off, twisting the, twisting the arm. Yeah, right. Camille, Camille savvy enough to know once the arm came out, that was all she wrote. Great finish from Paolo. So let's...